Welcome back everybody, today we're doing Intel Arc GPU with Elden Ring from A310 to the A770 and from 1080p to 1440p and low settings to maximum settings. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. Like always, a quick disclaimer, I'm playing on a freshly installed Windows with the latest driver for every part of that PC, meaning I don't have any junkware or bloatware on my PC. We first start with the Intel Arc A310, the model I have is the Azrock Challenger. We're playing obviously at the 1080p and the lowest settings and we're averaging 45 FPS. It's highly playable and that is an intense uh, high density uh, enemy. In open world like this uh, we are in the 50s and in dungeon it's even higher. We're almost at 60s at 58. CPU wise is doing well in the low uh, 40s to high 30s and the uh, memory we have 11 to 12 gigabyte of memory usage out of 16. Next up we jump to the A380 at medium setting. 1080p. The game play at 50 FPS. Highly playable. A nice budget card if you want to play Elden Ring. It has 2 GB VRAM more than the A310, so that helps a lot. But it's currently only using 4.1 out of the 6 GB available. And the GPU is pegged at 99%. And expect higher FPS when you're in a you're in dungeon and a bit lower when you're in uh, against high uh, populated uh, enemy zone. Still with the A380, but pushing the settings to high instead of medium, we get an average of 41 FPS. Still highly playable. I've countered quite a bunch of a starter when I start, but again, I think it's just uh, loading shaders or asset or whatever. I don't know why Intel uh, GPU take a while to load those assets to have a smooth gameplay. The GPU is big at uh, 99%, obviously, but we're only using 4.3 gigabytes of VRAM of the six uh, gigabytes. Available. And just to try it, the A380 at maximum settings. Obviously no retracing on. We averaging 39 FPS. I think that as long as you're over 30 FPS for Elden Ring, it's highly playable. So maximum setting at 1080p for the A380, check. And if you only want to play Elden Ring on PC, this is quite your budget card. If you want the maximum visual quality, for sure you can still get the A310 at the low settings and still be able to play. That's it for the Arc A380. So now let's jump to the Arc A580. This is a card with even more VRAM and a bit uh, better uh, speed. Or should I say a lot more speed. It's way more performing. We are at maximum setting 1080p and we reach the maximum FPS of the game which is 60. So my guess if you want to play at the recommended setting to reach the maximum FPS and maximum visual quality, the A580 is your best bet. You can probably go down to a i3 9 gen or 8 gen and the 8 gigabyte of uh, memory from the minimum requirement should maybe pass because we're not really using 9.9, .9, almost 10 gigabyte. So since we're maxing out the FPS of the game at the maximum settings, let's turn on ray tracing and at medium settings, ray tracing medium and maximum settings visual. We're averaging a 52 FPS. So the game is still highly playable with ray tracing. This is really nice. We get a little bump in the VRAM usage. We had 5.6. Without the ray tracing, we were at a 4.3. And for a card with the 8 gigabyte of VRAM, we have plenty of headroom. I don't think I will try at the higher settings for the ray tracing though. Now follow up the 580, it will be the ARC A750. Me, I have the Elden Ring edition, so there's a little uh, overclock uh, pre-apply from uh, Gunnir of uh, 100 megahertz higher than the original A750. I should have tried right away at 1440p, but let's uh, try 1080p. That's the footage I have. Maximum settings, obviously. And even more obviously, we are at 60 FPS. Even in some pack of uh, enemies, we have some drop to 58, 57 FPS, but that's about it. So it's time to turn on uh, ray tracing. I set it up at the ray tracing medium, still at maximum setting 1080p, and we are averaging 54 FPS, only 2 FPS more than the A580, surprisingly. Yes, there's more going around me on this playthrough, but it's quite similar in result. Both cards have 8 gigabyte of VRAM, both cards run at the 2.4 megahertz. I guess it's okay, or it's understandable that they have similar result, I guess. And CPU usage and memory usage is the same for both the 750 and the 580. And lastly, the A770 LE edition, the original from Intel. This is on my editing rig, so it's a i7-14700K instead of the i3-1200F, and I have 32 gig of RAM in this machine instead of 16. We're now playing at 1440p, maximum setting, and ray tracing high, so everything is a max out. We're averaging 45 FPS, it's highly playable, and it's beautiful. As long as you let the, all the asset and the shaders load, the 
the game run butter smooth. GPU is obviously at 99%, so it's peg. We're using 7 GB of VRAM out of the 16 of the A770. CPU obviously doing nothing at 12% of its position, and we're using 15 GB of memory. It's really nice to see that those ARC GPU, when they age, they're getting better and stable. And that's it for this video of Intel ARC GPU with Elden Ring. See you on the next one, and subscribe.